This video looks at the experience of students who have completed an assignment and are using a Turnitin Dropbox. They navigate their way to the particular topic where their assignment is to be uploaded and click on their particular area. This, in this case it's a student assignment to Dropbox. So when they click on this it will come up with a screen. The instructions appear on the screen so the students can follow these. So they click on My Submissions and this is how the student will add a submission. They will type in the title of their submission and browse to find the file that they have created. There we go, Assignment 2 and add the submission. Now when they add the submission this will go to Turnitin and will be checked for similarity with other assignments and the internet and journals and then will appear back in Moodle for the student to actually see that this has happened. The submission has gone to turn it in, it tells us on the screen that it's been successfully uploaded and we also get a digital receipt from turn it in to say it's actually there which is a really nice thing to happen. At the moment we can notice that the similarity index is actually pending so it hasn't actually gone through the process and created that so if I do click on my refresh, it'll refresh the screen and eventually the similarity index will appear. So the assignment has been um, checked by Turnitin and it's come back with a similarity report of 12%. If I click on the assignment and open it, I'll be able to check the assignment to see where it is similar and do something about it. Maybe look at my referencing. So if I click on originality, it will come up and tell me that this paper is similar to one that's already been submitted. So I can see it's 12% similar so I can scroll down my report and have a look and see the different areas that it's picked up as being similar. One there, another one here, and you'll, also, you'll see it's all related to this one thing. I can click on my match here and see what it comes up with and it will give me each one. So this is the first match and I can click through the report. It'll show me where it's matched up and where it's come from in the other um, report and I can go through the whole thing and have a look. So what I should do then is redo my assignment, referencing areas that have come from somewhere else and resubmit it. At the moment I can't look at the grade mark because this assignment has not been marked but once it has been marked I could click on that and I could see the results. So I've done my first draft of this assignment I would go back and change it and resubmit it again. So when I click this it will come back to my assignment and I could then resubmit this assignment. After I've changed it by clicking on the browse button, find the assignment and add my submission.